Hi everyone! Welcome to video two of our YouTube channel, Sisters Take On Life. It's just myself here for this video today, Fiona. Nice to see you, thanks for coming back. I first of all want to say thank you so much to everybody that has gave us feedback on our first video. We really, really appreciate it. There was so much positive feedback. We've already got some subscribers, so it's really exciting for us and we really can't thank everybody enough for the feedback. So thank you so much. Today I'm going to do a video about a topic that uh, I probably spend quite a bit of time on. <laughs> it's probably something that is on everybody's mind and that is discounts and ways to save money on purchases. Now this is quite a broad topic so there's probably going to be other videos and, and other ways that I save money but I'm going to stick to just kind of three main areas in today's video to cover. Now a lot of these you'll already know about but these are things that I can just kind of every single day and kind of I'm aware of constantly so that I know of ways that I can save money and sometimes even get freebies. So I'm going to talk about those and if you have any helpful hints or tints that you use to save money or get discounts or anything like that then please put your comments on the video or pop us an email or even pop on the Instagram and send us a message there. I would love to hear of any ways that I'm not using to get a, to get discounts or save money on, on any of the purchases that I make so please share those, I want to hear them. So the first topic that I'm going to cover are these <laughs> discount cards and reward cards. So I actually have quite a lot of these in my purse. So I probably don't carry all of them around um, at once but generally what I will do is if there is a, if I'm purchasing an item and there's a reward card available within that shop and I don't already have one, I will usually sign up to one as I'm making a particularly large purchase. My reason for that is because usually when you sign up to a reward or discount card you get quite a big upfront discount or you get triple points or something like that. So for example, I recently signed up to this card, which is my accessories treats card. The reason I signed up to that card is because I was in Monsoon and I needed a top for an event and found this gorgeous top that was about £60 and I can't really justify £60 on a top. That to me is too much money, but I fell in love with this top. So I had a look online to see if I could find a quick discount code and I couldn't really find anything but what I did find out is that if you sign up, signed up for the Accessorise or the Monsoon uh, Reward Card you got 25% off your purchase. So I saved 25% off of that £60 top which made it much more affordable to me and meant that there was more money in my bank account to go and have some more gins. <laughs> Sorry, it's Thursday night for me so I am having a gin so if you're having a drink too, cheers. Thanks for joining me. So reward cards can be quite beneficial if you sign up to them and use them in the right way. So one that I use every year and save quite a lot of money on is my Boots Advantage card. Now at Christmas they usually do um, double point and triple point events. They always do, I think it's a double point event around Christmas where you go and for every £10 that you, for every, sorry, oh gosh, what is it? For every £50 you spend, you get a fiver back, something like that. So I usually go and buy quite a lot of Christmas presents and I will also top up on my toiletries. So if you follow the Instagram, you know that I use a lot of Soap and Glory products, which, you, which I think are exclusive to Boots actually. So I buy, I will top up on my toiletries. I will buy all, any perfumes that I'm buying and they do that great three for two at Christmas. So you, you're saving on your three for two anyway, but then you're also getting your double points or triple points. Sometimes they'll do like kind of on specific items, they'll do triple point events, which is fantastic. So I save up at Christmas time and over like birthdays and things like that, I'll usually use my Boots Rewards card to get presents. And if there's double points, days or events, then what I'll usually do is top up on my toiletries that I use. So I'll get my shampoo, I'll get my soap and glory products, anything else that I'm aware of that, you know, even if I don't particularly need it, it's just stuff that I'll have for when I run out. 
because it's always better to buy it on a double or triple point event than it is to just buy it day to day because you're not getting as many points. So if I know that there is a special event on where I'm getting more points, then I will go and I will actually spend money. The reason that I do that is because I use my Boots Advantage card for what I class as luxury items. So to me, a luxury item that I always go to my Boots card to purchase is eyelashes. So if you're like if you if your friends or your group of friends are like my group of friends, everyone's wearing eyelashes on a night out. So I always feel like that's a bit of a luxury item that I can't always justify because it can cost anything from like a fiver straight up to a tenner for a good pair of lashes for um for kind of strip lashes. So I will go to my boots card for that spend and it feels fantastic walking out of boots, getting a free pair of lashes that you have not had to pay for. So this is one that I use that for. So another product that I use a lot is Benefit Cosmetics. So boots sell, sell uh, Benefits cos Cosmetics. So if I'm running out on a particular product, then what I will do is go onto the Debenhams website and see if they're doing any specials because I have a Debenhams beauty card here as well that I get points for. So I'll check wherever it's the cheapest or where I'm going to get the most points and then I'll go and top up what I need from either Debenhams or Boots on Benefit Cosmetics. So it's fantastic. So... The great thing with the Boots card is that for every pound you spend, you get four points back and every point is worth a penny. So if you're getting double points, then you can rack up quite a bit of money onto your card, especially at Christmas time if you're buying gifts, which is why it's such a fantastic card to me. And when I'm really skint and I've got a night out or, you know, I'm feeling a bit down and could do with a new piece of makeup or a new face mask or something like that that normally I can't really justify my boots card is the one that I go to to purchase those items it gives me a bit of a high when I walk out and I haven't spent any money but also I've got something free that is a luxury item to me because I can't justify spending money on all these things so it's always great so boots advantage card if you don't have one I would say 100% sign up to that so some other cards that I've got are like discount cards and the taste card. So I get a free taste card with my bank. So these are really good because when you log on to the website or the app, you can get like buy one, get one free on main meals and 50% off of your, your, your meal. So, so generally if I know I'm eating out and I know the area that I'm going to, I will look up on the taste card, the taste card website or app to see where we can go and how much money we can save. Now, I wouldn't go somewhere that I wouldn't eat just because I'm getting a good discount, but it's always good if you can find something that you know is somewhere that is possibly you like to go and that you're going to get 50% off your off your mains or something like that. They do fantastic deals. I get my card free through my bank, so that's even a bonus to me because I think you have to pay for the card if you sign up to it, but I think a lot of, like, mobile phone apps and uh, mobile phone companies and bank accounts and things like that give the card away for free so that's quite a good one as well let's see what else have I got uh, I've got a Bow Avenue VIP card that I really only signed up to because you get points and I think I got a 5% discount when I signed up to that card and I know it's only 5% but 5% is 5% it's still a saving so if there's a if it's just signing up to a card that's going to go into your wallet then what's the harm in signing up to it so that's reward cards. I would say it's definitely worthwhile signing up to a reward card if somebody offers you one. Credit account cards for shops is another scenario and I'll probably do a separate video on those because there are times and places where they're worth it. It's worth having a credit account for specific shops. I have one that I use a lot and it's very beneficial to me but I'll probably do another video on that. Um, so the next topic I want to cover is discount codes and a discount email offers so I generally if I'm buying an item online will go to the website that I'm wanting to purchase the item from and I will either log into a pre-existing account or I will always create an account now the reason that I do this is because I will then shop around to decide what it is that I want especially if it's a high kind of priced item I'll put it into my basket and I will 
log off and leave it in the basket and leave it a couple of days. More often than not, you get an email from that company into your mailbox saying, hello, are you aware you left me in um, your basket? Did you not realise? Oh, here's an additional discount. So usually what you get is some somewhere between 5 to 30% discount offer or a free delivery offer, which is great because it's extra money. So if you know ahead of time that you're going to be purchasing a particularly expensive item, it's always worth giving that a go. And if that doesn't work and there is a live chat feed on the website, then I always will message and say, you know what, I'm buying this particularly expensive item. Do you have a live discount code? Especially if it's a website that I purchase from a lot, I will say I'm a loyal customer. I purchase a lot. Do you have any live discount codes? Now, most of the time, those chat facilities are just chatbots and they are ready to give a discount code if somebody asks for one so there's no harm in asking. Sometimes there's people on the other end but the worst thing that can happen is that they say that there's no live discount codes and if there isn't, meh, well at least you tried and you didn't put too much effort into trying to get the discount code in the first place. I'm not asking you to troll websites and to click on things that you don't know if you're downloading something random or that you shouldn't be. No, you don't have to do that. The best thing to do is sign up to an account and put your item in the basket. If that doesn't work after a couple of days, then if there's a chat facility, ask. Now, another tip that I do for discount codes and just to know if there's sales on, these days, most you'll get the boxes. When you sign up to an account, you'll get boxes where it's like, do you want to be told of deals for this company? And I think most people tend to not tick those boxes these days because they can't be bothered with the spam in their inbox. But here's the thing. If you don't tick that box, then that company isn't going to email you when they have really good discounts on or when they have a discount code that's live or when they have sales on. They're not going to email you about them, so you're not going to know. And it's always worth knowing about these things. For example, I have a party on Saturday night that I'm going to and Monsoon emailed me this morning to say that they have a 70% sale on. And I went in today and I found a gorgeous dress for Saturday night that was 70% off. So I got a gorgeous brand new dress at 70% off and that was all because they emailed me. So it's always worth signing up to these emails just to see what is there and if you it, it prompts you so if you know that you're going to be buying a particular item and then you see that that shop has a discount yes of course you're more likely to go into that shop and I'm not saying you have to buy from that shop but the chances are you might find something in that shop because you're, you, you have shopped there before that's why you're getting the email so it's always worth signing up to these email accounts. Um, another topic that I want to cover is discount and reward apps. So it's always worthwhile finding out if any kind of schemes that you're attached to or companies that you spend a lot of money with have reward accounts. So for example, your mobile provider, chances are they will have some form of reward scheme. So I'm with Vodafone, they have a reward app that you can log into and they often do freebies or 50% off or it's free and you only have to be delivery on items. You get the you just log in, you get the discount codes. And in some instances, like today, if you were on the if you if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see I got a free um selector pack from Hotel I think it's Hotel Chocolat, but I feel like I'm not fancy enough to call it that's Hotel Chocolate. So you can so they were doing a deal on the Vodafone app that if you went in and you were one of the first, I think it was 10,000, you got your code, you went in and you can get a wee selector pack of chocolates. So I'll show you what I got. I'll pop a picture up right now for you to see. So I got that free today, just totally free. There is one of their shops right outside of my work. So it was two seconds to walk. And because I log onto that app and look at it quite often, I got free chocolates. I think last week or a couple of weeks ago, they were do you got a free uh, Greg sausage roll. Quite a few people in my work popped out and got the, the sausage roll for free because they're with Vodafone. So, and, and I know that O2 definitely have a rewards app as well. They do like O2 rewards, I'm sure they do. So it's always worth checking out if there's an app because some of the ways that you can get freebies or discounts is so easy, it is so worth doing. It's always also worth checking in with your work to see if they do some some form of like savers thing. So we have a thing in our work where it's like an application and you kind of sign up to it and you get a lot of money. So 
back on things or discounts on things they do I believe Just Eat you get a discount and a few other websites but it's always worth checking out if the if the company that you work for do any saver schemes like that or discounts because well you can always save money so it's always worth asking Okay, so that was my video on how you can make some quick savings on some purchases that you're making. So the key things to remember are always sign up to rewards cards and create accounts on websites and pop things in your basket. Leave it a couple of days to see if you get an offer through in your email. And if there's a chat facility, ask if there's a discount code. Also, be aware of what schemes that you get. Do you get anything through your bank, through your mobile provider, through your work? Check out and see what apps and, and discount schemes are available to you and be aware of what's on there. And have a check in and see if there's anything that is worth your while. I usually check in every single day on the train in the morning just to see if there's anything live on the on the Vodafone app, but also through my emails to see what discounts are valid and what are, what are worth keeping a hold of. So what I'm going to start doing, which if you follow the Instagram page, Sisters Take On Life, give us a follow if you're not already. What I have started to do on there is in the mornings when I'm seeing any good discount codes coming through or freebie, freebie offers, then I'm posting them on our story. So pop over, give our story a read in the mornings because there'll be discount codes on most days because let's face it, there's always new offers coming through. So some offers that I want to make you aware of just now that is worth taking note of is if, you are a, if you're with Vodafone, go and get your free chocolates from Hotel Chocolate. Through emails that I received this morning, I know that New Look and Monsoon are both having 70, up to 70% off sales. And Mac are doing a deal right now where if you spend £45, you get a free lipstick and two sample products of their new products that they're of new products that they have launched, which is worth it. And let's be honest, if you're topping if you use Mac products and you're topping up because you're running out, you're probably gonna spend about £45 anyway. So free lipstick. <laughs> totally worth it. Another good tip for Mac though is that I believe it's if you save five of your empty bottles or empty products and take them into them, they will recycle them and you will get a free lipstick. So that's always worth remembering as well. It's always good to think about these deals and know what is what's out there on offer where you can save save pennies. It might be pennies that you're saving, but all those pennies adds up. So it's totally, totally worth it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, then comment, let me know ways that you save money and there'll be more videos like this if you are interested in hearing. Bye.